In Nairobi, capital of Kenya, Europeans and Africans walk the streets in fear of the dreaded Mau Mau. For it is that band of fanatics whose bloody deeds have cast a dark shadow across the face of Kenya. Imagine a world where one day, villains become heroes. This isn't the plot of a novel or the twist in a blockbuster film. It's a page from the national history of Kenya, Africa. It's the story of the Mau Mau. Who are the Mau Mau and what happened? When Britain colonized Kenya, it encouraged its settlers to occupy the country's fertile lands by displacing Kenyan communities who were dependent on these lands and exposing them to unjust and unequal treatment. To fight back, Kenya's Mau Mau rebellion occurred in the 1950s. The British response was harsh, involving detention camps, killings, and torture. In 1963, however, Kenya emerged as a free nation. Shifts in narrative. In the 1960s, the first president of Kenya said, Mama was a disease which had been eradicated and must never be remembered again. These sentiments were shared by British colonial rulers who spread propaganda, branding the Mau Mau as pure evil. Yet, six decades later, the Mau Mau are collectively celebrated. Their fight is now a tale of heroism and freedom fighting. Indeed, a recent Kenyan president said, for their martyrdom, we honor our fallen heroes. Research questions and methods. My study asks, how and why have the memories surrounding the Mau Mau uprising shifted over time by political elites in Kenya and Great Britain and by the Mau Mau themselves? And despite now being celebrated as national heroes, why do the Mau Mau continue to face challenges in obtaining justice such as land back? And how may the struggle shape their sense of national belonging? To uncover the shifts in how the Mau Mau were remembered through time, I conduct qualitative analysis of hundreds of documents since the 1920s. Kenyan presidential speeches, Mau Mau writings, and British parliamentary records. I also conduct interviews with former Mau Mau to determine how collective memory shapes identity and belonging. Recently, the Mau Mau have sought reparations from Britain for its colonial violence and land injustices. Analyzing both Britain and Kenyan records thus show how memories may shift because of transnational politics, a contribution I seek to make. Why does this project matter to us? This study encourages critical engagement with the past and recognizing the malleability of memory and identities. In our globalized age where memories transcend borders, understanding memory politics is important. The Mamel's struggle for reparation and land reclamation echoes the struggles of many indigenous and marginalized groups, including here in Canada. Though this study focuses on Kenya, it can provide valuable lessons in reconciliation, justice, and addressing historical grievances everywhere.